Hello to all uh, music producers and talented people out there. Welcome back. This is a lot of GMAC Productions, and I have a video for you today, guys. Um, today, I want to show you how I organize my tracks, uh, how I organize my mix, and by using submix and markers in Mixcraft Pro Studio 7. Okay, so let's just start right now. And why am I doing this? Um, organizing your tracks really helps you in uh, doing your mixes okay um, there as I move along I will tackle the on the benefits of how of organizing your tracks okay so as you can see this is a pretty heavy mix that I have right now okay and one benefit that I that will help you guys um, in doing your sub mix is for example, in, in my first submix, which is the drum sub submix, you can see all my drum parts here, okay? And one benefit is that you can control the volume fader for all the tracks. You, you don't need to go to each of the track here and um, uh, control the volume of each track, okay? For example, let's just um, play this one. Like the kick drum here okay what you can do is on the submix the volume fader on the submix you can control all the tracks okay on that mix all right another benefit that you can get is you can also put an effect on all the tracks since this is a submix uh, this is a drum track you can actually compress the drums further by using a, a stereo compressor so here you, in this track that's I, what, that's what i did I mean, let's solo this and then i put a stereo compressor let me bypass it let me put it back all right okay so you don't need to go to each track here and put a compressor on the on the kick and on the uh hi-hat you know on the claps so it, it compresses all okay all right so how to put uh, how you add or put your sub mix track in your mix okay f um let me go to the piano sub mix right now and let me just uh delete this okay so there's no need for me to really put a sub mix track on the piano uh, on the two tracks because it doesn't really both tracks don't really affect each other but for organization purposes i would like to do so for me to be able to pinpoint where my pianos are to um in conjunction or you know with all the tracks that i have so to add a submix track you can right click your mouse button okay uh, and then you add your submix track or you can also put, uh, add the track from here at the upper left side or here see you can see all right but let me just uh, okay now it's also imperative for you to name your submixes all right because um you don't know where you put the piano uh if you just named it the submix four then let's see okay so let's just add the pianos first okay so just drag here and drop it and drag here and drop it okay if i did not put a name here let me just you know click this one and hide it okay so where where's my piano track right <laughs> it's you you you're wasting your time looking for the track if you need some edits on the piano because you don't know where to put it so you need to make sure you name it right so let's just put piano here and then you can also you know uh, change the icon so that's better recognition okay so the piano tracks are there all right now for the leads and synths it's the same thing and as you can see all my submix tracks have different colors why that's also for recognition easier recognition okay so all my drum tracks are colored green on all my piano tracks are colored blue then my leads are colored purple and then my synths are colored uh, red 
and these three tracks are colored yellow and they're not in the submix because there's no need it has different uh, these three tracks have different purposes and uh, the first is a uh, my white noise it doesn't need a volume fader um which, we, these three tracks don't need a one volume fader so no need for a submix okay but you can also do it just for organization purposes as what i did in the piano you can you can also you know put them on a submix as well and then name it as um, other if other effects okay then all my send tracks are at the bottom of the mix okay so that's about it in terms of um, submix tracks okay if you go to the mixer you can also see how i did it here right so my drums are green piano blue leads purple they're all color coded for easy recognition okay and then for also for a song arrangement what you can do is um, use markers for example mm, this one second stanza is here all right let me just uh delete that okay and if you want to make sure uh, where you need to go so you need to put markers on your song arrangement okay so first off is you click the the right button of your mouse and then add marker you can change your colors here you can choose maybe red and then title it as second stanza okay and it shows also where it starts then let click okay now the pretty a cool thing about this one is you can play it from the marker okay you don't need to you know use the fast forward or the rewind button in order for, to go to where you want to be or just click here and click there to you know to play it from there you can play from the first stanza, play from marker, right? And then you can also play here. You can play from, if you want to edit, on the pre-chorus. That's about it. It's pretty easy. Um, you know, um, it takes a lot of discipline to organize your tracks and it takes a lot of practice as well to do it um, at first when I started recording I, I really had a hard time looking for the edits or for the tracks that I need to edit on because they're not organized and especially when you know when I do my songs and I'm getting very creative I'm adding more and more and more tracks and I'm not naming it and I'm not color coding it and I'm not um, putting it on submix tracks it's harder for me I have wasted a lot of time looking for the edits because they're not organized and I'm a visual learner so I really want to you know to look at my tracks as like an eye candy and it's not an eyesore for me so for you that's just for my perspective alone so I don't know with you guys but I hope this video helps you uh, in organizing your tracks as well I hope you like this lesson thank you so much for liking my videos keep on watching keep on liking keep on subscribing my videos rock the music or continue to do great on your music have a great day cheers guys thank you bye bye